Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Yasin Rak. Today I will share a story with you I just made up actually in my mind. I hope it's going to be a good lesson for you. Now it's going to be a reading um, passage. It's a very short story actually. Let's see that how we, what we are going to learn today. Are you ready? I will share in Turkish and in English as well. Let's start with our story. Now, actually, I didn't put a title for my story, but I can say uh, morning, um, morning shopping. Okay, now, as you see on the left top, you see my story, first paragraph, starting with like this. So, now let's start. Her zamanki gibi yine sabah kalktım. Let me repeat one more time. Her zamanki gibi yine sabah kalktım. Üstümü giyindim ve dışarı çıktım. Biraz temiz havaya ihtiyacım var diye düşündüm. Well, it may sound a bit interesting and, you know, unfamiliar to you. Well, let me repeat one more time. Her zamanki gibi yine sabah kalktım. Üstümü giyindim ve dışarı çıktım. Biraz temiz havaya ihtiyacım var diye düşündüm. Now let's see what's that in English. I just try to, you know, uh, color words or sentences to make it clear for you. Now let's see here. As always, as always means her zaman ki gibi. I woke up again in the morning. Yine sabah kalktım. Yine sabah kalktım. Or also you can say uyandım. Woke up means normally uyanmak. I woke up again. Again means yine. Yine. Got dressed. I put on my clothes actually. This is what I mean. And went out. And after in Turkish we say dışarı çıktım. Went out. Dışarı çıktım. I thought I needed some fresh air. So this means biraz temiz havaya ihtiyacım var diye düşündüm. Here düşündüm means I thought. I needed some fresh air. Biraz temiz havaya ihtiyacım var diye düşündüm. Let's continue. Dışarıda hava her zamankinden biraz farklıydı. Dışarıda hava her zamankinden biraz farklıydı. Gökyüzü griydi. Yağmur havası vardı. Acaba markete gidip kahvaltılık bir şeyler alsam mı diye kendi kendime söylendim. Emin değildim bundan ama market bana 5 dakika yürüme mesafesindeydi. All right now it's kind of a bit long, you know. Now let's make it uh, clear as possible as I can. Now I will say in English uh, first. Now after that I will say in Turkish as well. The weather outside was a little different than usual. This means dışarıda hava her zamankinden biraz farklıydı. The sky was gray. Gökyüzü griydi. The sky was gray means gökyüzü griydi. It felt like the weather of rain. Yağmur havası vardı. Yağmur havası vardı. Uh, I murmured here. I say here I murmured in English. That means I say something by myself. Uh, uh, like not, so quiet, uh, not so loudly actually. Quietly I say something. So that's why I put here the word of murmured. I murmured by myself. I wondered if I should go to the grocery store and buy something for breakfast. That's the English uh, version. Uh, in Turkish, uh, I meant here, Acaba markete gidip kahvaltılık bir şeyler alsam mı diye kendi kendime söylendim. Here, kendi kendime söylendim means I murmured by myself or on my own. So here, continue, emin değildim. That means I was not sure. Bundan, that means I was not sure of this. But... Ama, the market was uh, kind of five minutes uh, away from me, kind of five minutes distance uh, from me. That's why I put here, market bana beş dakika 
yürüme mesafesindeydi. So here uh, the store was within five minutes walking distance to me. That's what I mean in English. All right, now let's continue the next paragraph. Now, I want to say here, if I were a Turkish learner, I would prefer first of all in English and after that in Turkish. That's why now I want to do this. Let me say, what sentence by sentence I will say this. I thought I would go and come back. This is what I mean here. This is the English. Now, let's say in Turkish. Hemen gidip geleceğimi düşündüm. Hemen gidip geleceğimi düşündüm. I thought. I would come back. I would go and come back. Yürümeye başladım. I started walking. I started walking. Yürümeye başladım. I got to the grocery store. Or you can say the supermarket. Actually, I'm in mean here the supermarket. Grocery store. Markete vardım. In Turkish we say market. Markete vardım. Vardım means I arrived. I got there. So, markette in the supermarket. While I was in the supermarket here. Markette iken... Bir gök gürültüsü duydum. I heard a thunder. I heard a thunder. And then it started to rain. Ve ardından yağmur yağmaya başladı. Now let me repeat uh, the Turkish version one more time. You already can see this English. Now let's repeat slowly and one, one by one. Hemen gidip geleceğimi düşündüm. Yürümeye başladım. Markete vardım. Markette iken bir gök gürültüsü duydum ve ardından yağmur yağmaya başladı. Now this is what I mean here. I hope it's clear enough for you. Let's continue. In English, so next part here. It was raining so much that it seemed impossible to go home after shopping. But I had to go home too because... I put tea water, tea water on the stove. If I was late there, if I was late, there could be something dangerous. This is the you know last part of my story, which I made up actually. Now let's say this in Turkish. It was raining so much that it means yağmur o kadar çok yağmur o kadar çok yağıyordu ki that which is a connection word or connecting word alışverişten sonra that means after shopping eve gitmem mümkün değil gibiydi now here we use the structure of gibiydi or something like görünüyordu it means in english it seems like okay so it seems or this is the past tense that's why i put here it seemed it seemed impossible means Mümkün değil. Because impossible is a negative word. I put here mümkün değil gibiydi. That's why I put here it seemed translation gibiydi. Eve gitmem mümkün değil gibiydi. Ama but eve gitmem de gerekiyordu. Well I really needed to go home too. Or you can say I had to go home too. Çünkü because çünkü ocağa çay suyu koymuştum. In Turkish, you know, uh, learn this word. This is quite a lot used, you know, in Turkish. Ocak, normal based form of the word is ocak, which is kind of a cooker or stove or something. Yeah, you put on it to cook something. That's why we say in Turkish ocak. All right, there is normally K, but in the example of uh, sentences, we all the time change K to soft G uh, to make, you know, um, the match with the uh, vowels and consonants for formation. All right, now let's continue. Çünkü ocağa çay suyu koymuştum. Çay suyu means tea water. I mean, the water to make tea. That's why I put, we say in Turkish, çay suyu koymuştum. That means I already had put, you know. Geç kalırsam, if I am late or if I were late, tehlikeli bir şeyler olabilirdi. There could be something dangerous. So in that case, we say in Turkish, tehlikeli bir şeyler olabilirdi. This is just a guess. Uh, just I just made up these examples. Now this is the end of the story. Um, that's all. I just tried to you know highlight the sentences and words in different colors to help you learn as clearly as possible. If you think that I sounded a bit you know fast uh, for Turkish learners, especially for beginners. 
please, you know, forgive me for this. I just try to uh, make it a more natural sound. That's all I can say at the moment. If you have any questions about this reading part, you can write to me on the videos, you know, under the videos. And so I can uh, do more progressive, different ways of uh, lessons to help you learn more uh, effectively, easily, and fast. And that's all I can share with you today. I hope you have had a good time here with me. Bye for now.